Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is apply a milky white color over my entire nail. I'll be sure to list the colors I used in the description bar. Followed by this, I'm going to be painting a French manicure using the same exact nail polish, just so the tips could be a lot brighter. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using to paint my lines. Going a little bit under my French manicure using black acrylic paint, but you can also use nail polish. I'm just going to start by painting a black stripe. I'm going to swerve it in towards the side, and then I'm going to be painting a little swirl over the corner. Over the opposite side, I'm also going to be painting another little swirl. In the center of these two swirls, I'm going to be painting three dots. And now I'm just going to seal off the opposite side by creating another stripe. These are going to be my boundaries. What I'm going to do in between these boundaries is just a couple of stripes. It's up to you to decide how you'll want to be placing yours. Over the opposite side, I'm also going to be painting a couple of boundaries, starting with two stripes and then a little swirl in the corner. I'm also going to add three dots. And in between my boundary lines, I'm going to begin painting a couple of stripes. Now I'm going to go in with some gold acrylic paint, and I'm also going to be listing the gold acrylic paint I used in the description bar, and I'm just going to fill in my spaces. You can basically fill in your spaces with any colors of your choice. You can also go with a variety of colors to give a stained glass effect. I'm going to fill in the opposite side of my French manicure spaces as well with the color gold. In the center of my French manicure, I'm going to be placing a 2 millimeter size crystal. Now using the same exact gold paint I used to fill in my spaces, I'm going to be painting a pattern of dots coming in sideways, becoming smaller and smaller, and in the corner I'm going to make a little swirl. Now in the center of my swirl, I'm going to be placing another 2 millimeter size rhinestone. And that's it. That's how you're going to get this nail art design done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this nail art design using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!